What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. We do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. You do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute. Olympic champion Brianna McNeil isn't eligible for Tokyo Olympics after missing drug test due to abortion. Here we go again, y'all. If you're new to my channel, please thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, cast your vote for Kofi's Universe Hall of Fame, East Coast solo artist from 1990 to 1993. That link is in the description. Check out new interviews with Apathy and John Connor of Flint, Michigan. Shout out to my boy, Wes. I talk to him all the time. We talk throughout the day. That's a brother right there. He told me about this article this morning. And I was like, what? I didn't know about it. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to check this out. So in this article right here, it talks about another black woman will not be eligible to compete in the upcoming Tokyo Olympics. Brianna McNeil, a 2016 Olympic champion who won the 100 meter hurdles, unfortunately will not be competing in the next Olympics or the one after. McNeil's appeal of her five year ban from the athletic event was denied. NBC Sports reported she received a five year ban in June after being accused of tampering with the doping process after she missed a drug test in January, excuse me, January 2020 and was suspended that same month. While appealing the ban, she was allowed to compete in the Olympic trials last month. If her appeal would have been successful, she would have qualified for the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. So, according to the New York Times, McNeil missed the drug test because she was recovering from an abortion. It wasn't missing the drug test that led to the ban, though. While McNeil voluntarily provided documentation about her abortion, she mistakenly changed the date of her procedure due by 24 hours, leading to her being accused of tampering. So, she came, I saw her um, post on Instagram, and this is what she said. I sat through two he um, hearing held April 2021 and July 2021, and I listened to white European men tell me how my experience doesn't match with their perspective. They criticized me and overly judged my decision making, completely ignored the fact that I was under physical and mental trauma after undergoing an abortion, and that was not. In the, I was not in the right mental capacity when making certain decisions. They never expressed sympathy with my situation. At my second hearing, they even brought in a clinical psychiatrist to undermine my mental health. I watched them try to discredit my doctor we used to testify about abortion stigma. I couldn't stop thinking to myself, how could these men tell me what type of experience I should have had? How can these men who would never in a million years be in my shoes tell me anything I should be um, going through. So instead of me being met with some sort of compassion, understanding, I was being um, interrogated and stigmatized. Um, you know, here we go again. We already have Shikari Richardson being disqualified from the Olympics of testing positive marijuana. Now we have this situation. It's sad. It's cynic. cynic ah, it's sad. It's sick. It's sick as hell, man. It's just sick. I do not like it at all. Sickening. <laughs> My hat was tongue tied. Sickening. That you know, it just, it doesn't make no sense. Like I said, um, no white European man is gonna look out for you, sis. I'm gonna be real. They don't give a damn about you. They never had, never will. That means we would have never had chattel slavery, not just in North America, but throughout the Caribbean, African diaspora. They only going They don't even care about their own women. So how the hell are they going to care about a black woman? And I'm just being real. I'm sorry. And I empathize with the sister because it's like, damn, I didn't even know she had an abortion. She actually revealed this information. She didn't even have to even do that. But she just letting these people know what's really going on behind closed doors. Now, she's revealing about her abortion and other things that a lot of people don't know. There's probably all kind of cases. People are just being silent right now, not saying nothing. So what do I suggest recommend we need our own olympics the black olympics we need the african diaspora olympics 
the Black Olympics, we don't need to be competing with all these nationalities no more. It's all about us. We need to have um, historical black colleges and universities sponsoring the Olympics where we can actually advertise black businesses, entrepreneurs at the Olympics. We can have our bands, the rappers, athletes come out. It could be all us. This should be our show. It's time for us to do our own thing. Leave the Olympics alone. You already saw what happened in 1932 with Jesse Owens. You already saw what happened in 1968 with um Tommy Smith. You know, is there's so many things that's been happening. So many things has been happening. They've been cheating people out the Olympics. They cheated who? Roy Jones Jr. out of a gold medal. Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Jr. out of a gold medal. Shakur Stevens out of a gold medal. The list goes on and on and on. You know. Need I say more, but all I can say is right now we need our own Olympics. I'm sorry um, Brianna is not going to be able to participate in the 2021 Olympics, but you know what? A minor setback for a major comeback. A blessing's coming her way. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.